right, my brothers and sisters. Let's continue with this. with that verse, um, um, John chapter 8, with that verse uh, 17. Now, I'm going to make a mention of this. I guess this will be from the top of it in this um, in this video, in this series on the, the, the mystery of the Trinity, right? The mystery and approaching it first biblically, and then we'll get into some of the additional documents like this right here, like this particular document right here, the Metzhafet Salot, um, um, the Metzgebe Salot, the, the, the Book of Prayer and the Treasury of, of Prayer, or like I say, that's how you say in the in the heart the good is, that's how you would say uh, a library, you understand? In other words, treasury. And then this is what we're going to touch on right here. And thanks to um, the late um, Abuna, you understand, or hopefully ascended Abuna um, Yisahak. I say hopefully because that is, of course, his good hope, and he has left us a very good testimony in his in his work right here, right? The Ethiopian Tawahedo Church, right? This particular document, and this is um, Abuna Yisahak right here, right? Abuna Yisahak, and this particular page one two three, where it has the Amistu A Imada Nishir or the five pillars of mystery. And remember, number five is the number of grace, and the first one is the Mishkira Salase or the mystery of the Trinity. Before we get into this overview, this summary here, it's important for us to build on a biblical, the first witness is in the Bible. So really what we have here and here is an overview for the mature who have a foundation in the Word. So let's just understand that. Now, we were speaking on the discourse that Yeshua HaMoshia had after the feast, where Jesus is the light of the world where he proclaims himself the light of the world. Now, some of the Pharisees had said to him that, well, because he's talking of himself, that, uh, like, I, I got you. They was playing the gotcha point. You understand? We got you. You understand? Your testimony is not true. But he said, though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whither and where I go. But he cannot tell whence, like, from where I came and whither and to where I go. He said that they judge right after the flesh or according to the natural. He said, in the flesh or the carnal. I not Rastafari. In truth, the elect say, I not want no carnal mind. All right? Now, Yeshua now, the teacher of his majesty, the testimony of Christ, now shows us how to overcome the carnal mind. He says, I judge no man. Verse 16, and yet, if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. I and the Father. You understand? I and the Father that sent me. He says in verse 17, where we had um, left off, it says, It is also written in your law, in, in the law of the Torah Jews, or the Jews of that first, uh, the Judahites of that first uh, century. It's written in your law, or Torah, that the testimony of two men, right? The testimony of who? Of two men is true. Which now explains why when we talk about this buddy system, you understand? Know or the Havruta, or the Havreen, right? The buddy system where the two and two, you understand? Know Go out to minister, the two and two. It's very important for us to understand this is not just written here, just symbolically in the Bible, but this is instruction for us as we grow up. You know, and as we grow up, and we're going to show as we go further when we speak about the the, 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 the universal churchical code right here, you know, saying, for the Lange Society, and we're speaking on whether disciples or members or units or bands or officers or ambassadors or ministers of the society of his majesty or of the true Beta Rastafari. It's going to, hopefully, for those who receive, it will all come in good order. One was cite and, and like I and I even say, wow, like, you know, we try to do it a whole bunch of different ways, you know, and with varying success, but, but overall feeling if we are Rastafari to meet his standards because it's not in his order, it's not in his way, 
It's like we're seeking to establish our own righteousness to what we think is right doing. You understand? Know Instead of being in His righteousness, you understand? Know and in submitting or making our wills obedient to the good influence of the teaching of the King of Kings and His Christ. So He says right here, it is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. This is interesting what He says right here. That please pay attention. Right? This is the, your red letter Bible. It's the word of Jesus or the word of Christ, our black Lord and Savior. He says that the testimony, uh, Mr. Carter, Mr. Carter, Mr. Carter, right, of two, of, of two men is true. Now he's speaking of the father. He was not talking about Joseph, his stepfather, but he's speaking of the father, of our father, of Abba. Right? Of Abba Kedus, of Kedus, Abba Tachin. Right? He says the testimony of two men is true. He goes on to say, I am one, I am one that be a witness of myself. And the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. And the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Now, one thing I want to look at, because this, this, there are tenses, I didn't look at this before. But if you will, um, I say, bear with me, abide with me, walk with me, talk with me, right? You will see um, where I'm going with this. This is going to verse, verse, uh, uh, which is verse 17, 18. Go to verse 18 right here. He says, "The sula rase yema mesa mesa ker ine ne ye la kenyem ab sula ine ye mesa karab." Yemesekalal can also mean that he will, right? Right? It means that he testifies, but in the sense of the language, see what it's written in English, it's like he bears in the past tense. It's not in the past tense, it's, a, it's in the, the present as in finitum sense. So it's in the present tense going forward. You know But it can be also seen in the prophetic sense. You know sense In the revelation of Kedamawi, Chayla, Shalase, who did not testify of himself, but who testified of the true Christ in his spirit, you know what I'm saying, and in truth, you know what I'm saying, so this is very important because many of us, because of um, um, the Gentile white supremacy and all the lies against black humanity, many of us would have never been reading the Bible or talking about God or, uh-huh, the, where we were going. It's Matthew saved we. You know what I'm saying? He, he saved we from hell and destruction. You know what I'm saying? But we see in him, when we see him, we see Christ. We see Yeshua. You know what I'm saying? And he did not say, I'm not Jesus, I'm not Christ, I'm not... He didn't say that. He warned us, you know what I'm saying, of this whole, this whole new age philosophy. You know, for Sam Blavatskyism and all this other kind of theosophy and all of that. He warned us of this 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 corruption about the emanation. Man is emanated from a deity. No, man is created. The the, the, the Son of God was begotten. You know, and was born of this in Gamaria. You know, and as every baby is born except the seed, you know, saying he was conceived through the agency of the men that produced. That men says conduce gibber. You understand? That's how he was conceived. All right? Not by human seed. I know some folks want to argue that because it's flesh. They, they're dealing from a natural flesh called a carnal mind. So they're looking at this spiritual manifestation and revelation in a carnal way. It's like Christ said to the, the Pharisees, we say to the rest of the Pharisees, ye judge after the flesh. Ye judge after the carnal, yet you go to Ayabingi and say, I not not want no carnal mind. You know, you chant, you don't want no carnal, but you, but, but, but you, you don't want it, but because you haven't submitted, made your wills obedient to his majesty's good influence or his teaching of those who have come and proclaimed it, you're still caught in your carnal or natural mind. But he says right here, going forward, verse uh, 19, then said they to him, where is thy father? Like they say to I and I, well, where is your father? Where is our Kedus? Where is his majesty? Where is, where is your God? Rasta, your God is there. Ra, ra, ra. Right? Where is thy father? Yeshua, Jesus, our master. Right? 
I would imagine, you know, we have to be beat to say Master. You know what I'm saying? So we should say Master, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Not this because he's black. That's just the truth of it. But remember, we, we must be in his spirit. You know what I'm saying? And his spirit in us through that engrafted word. Yeshua, he answered and says, Ye, y'all, neither know me. You don't know me. You don't know me, homie. Ye neither know me nor my father. You don't know me and you don't know my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. If you really knew who I be, you would know who Kedemar Hila Selassie be. Right? This is what he said to them. Verse 20, he says, These words spake Jesus in the treasury. Wow. Where that treasury again? Where that word treasury? Let's go to verse 20 right here. Right here, and see what well, it says. Gimja in the Gimja, the Gimja bait. But most likely, if you look in the in the goodness, you're gonna find that word, since that's more used in the goodness. Yes, yeah, it says where. So it says in the. It says where right there. Where Mezgeba Kalat. But he spoke this in the treasury, right? As he taught in the temple of the Beit Hamikdash, right? And no man laid hands on him for his hour was not yet come. Verse 21, Then said Yeshua again to them, I go my way. Right? I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and ye shall die. Ye shall die in your sin. Whither I go, ye cannot come. He says, where I'm going, they can't come. They're going to die in their sins. My brother and sister, we should not want to die in our sins like those Pharisees. You understand? So you might have once arrived the Pharisee, but you have to turn around. You know, turn around. Turn around. Turn from your way to Yahweh, to Jah's way. You understand? Accept the teaching of his master. Accept Yeshua HaMoshiach. Then said the Jews, and we're speaking about black people, right? we're speaking about black people here. When we went through that, you know, there's, there's so much evidence on that. It's not even funny. You understand? Folks still want to bait us on, you know, what the Jews were, where they. Now, we already know. You understand? We already know. So if you know it, be convinced, be persuaded. And let's keep it moving. Don't get angry. Don't get upset. You understand? If you study and show it to be true to Jah, you understand? And to your brother, man, why get upset on this one or that one? You understand? All you're just working up your nervous system, right? Um, and, and you're causing, causing uh, interference. In your trinity, you think of man as a trinity spirit, soul, and body, right? So he goes on to say, Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Will, will, is he going to Arkansas or what do you call Arkansas nowadays? Is he going to suicide? Is he going to kill himself? Because he saith, Whether I go, he cannot come. So they began to think that Yeshua was going to kill himself. Uh huh. See, these are all examples of what Christ is explaining what Christ said. He said that they, um, you know, that he, he's saying that they were uh, 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 carnal. You understand? You know, they were carnal minded. They judged things after their fleshy, natural mind. Right? So it goes on in verse 23. And he said to them, ye are from beneath. Get down, get down. Ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world. You're of this seclorum, dude. You understand? I am not of this seclorum. He was in the seclorum as we, with him and we and we and him, we're in the seclorum, but we're not of the seclorum, of this so-called world or world system. Verse 24, I said therefore to you that ye shall die in your sin. For if ye believe, if you don't my men, if you don't say amen, our woe and our main, yea and our main, not that I am he. If you don't accept that as true, ye shall die in your hatiyat. You shall die in your sin. You're missing the mark. You're being apart from God. You know what I'm saying? You're being separated. You're being alienated from God. Verse 25, then said they to him, who art thou? And Yeshua said to them, Even the same that I said 
he's been the same I said to you from the beginning. You know, you know, and it's interesting because when you when you walk in your shoe, you'll find that you'll get into uh, maybe that's the exact sort of conversation, but conversation with folks, which will be almost the exact same thing. You know, and, and the more it is, the more you're walking in that spirit. You're walking in His spirit and His truth. He goes on to say in verse 26, "I have many things to say and judge of you, but He that sent me is true." He who sent him, who's the one, who's the one who sent him is the Father. The Father who sent him is what true. And I speak to the world those things which I've heard of him. He speaks now what he has shema, what he has heard. The same way we are to hear the word. So, so, so you understand as he is that first begotten of the dead. You understand that 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 he's the one who has brought more sons, right, and daughters, more children into the Father's house. He was in the same process, what he hears of the Father, right? That's what he speaks. Verse 27, he says, they understood not. They didn't understand, they didn't understand that he spake to them of the Father. But you see, if we read this, we, 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 we should understand, I and I understand, that he's speaking of the Father, but they, he's there in their face. You understand? But, they, but, but, but they're not in his grace, right? They're not in that grace. Right, they were out of place. You were over. Verse 28 says, Then said Jesus to them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am He, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. So who taught him? It's the Father. Who should teach us? It should be the Father. Does that make perfect sense? You know what I'm saying? Does that make perfect sense? Verse 29, he says, And he that sent me is with me. Is with me. Say, he's within me. He is with me. The Father hath not left me alone. For I do always those things that please him. Now compare that please him. Do a, do a study when you can on pleasing him and on what please him. It says it's impossible to please him without faith, without amen. You're saying without yea and amen. It is impossible to please him without that trust, without that faith. You understand? Some will say without that conviction. You understand? But now, here, verse 30, and it says as as he spake these words, it says, Many did my men. Many did amen. As he spoke those words, they were like, Amen. I admit. They admitted that yes, he is speaking. They felt it. They got it. You understand? They were receiving the Isla Iron. You understand? They were receiving the Memphis Caduce, the, the spirit of the vibe. They accepted. Right? Verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews, which believe on him. This is the part that I was looking for, actually. But I wanted to read into it and not be like some of those guys out there that be like, um, we could have one verse Charlie. You understand? And then they take that one verse and they twist it and turn it and then you look at, well, what does that have not, If you do go and study it, you say it had nothing to do with what they said. You understand? It was very interesting what they said, but they were making stuff up. I'm not, not making stuff up. You know what I'm saying? You don't walk in him by making stuff up. You know, but, but it says, Then said Jesus to those Yehudi, or Ihud, which my men, you said, which my men, which bear witness on him, if ye continue, if ye continue, if ye I tenue, right, if you please, if ye I tenue, right, in my word, whose word? In Jesus' word. If you, if we continue, he said to these who, so there were some of the Jews, of the black Jews, black Hebrews, right, who were the Rasta, or, or the Pharisees, excuse me, who were the Pharisees. And there were others of them who began to admit on him. So he turned to them, right? He turned to them, right? Um, those who admitted on him or were beginning to admit on him, he says, if y'all continue in my word, then are ye my disciples. My disciples indeed. So when we speak about discipleship, that's a very important verse and word right there. 
Because what makes a disciple of the King of Kings and his Christ is one who continue. Is in one who continue to do what? To grow and to mature in the word of Yeshua and the testimony of his father, our father. Verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It's interesting if you look at that and think about how many times you've heard all type of people, all type of so-called communists and liberals and all kind of folks of all sort of isms and schisms, they always say, and ye shall know the truth, you know. But, but notice if you look in your Bible right here, verse 31 and verse 32 is connected. In other words, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye... Remember who he's speaking to? He's speaking to those faithful of the Judahites. You understand? Those, those, those black Hebrews of that time in that dispensation. And us, Ethiopian Hebrews in this time and dispensation. If we, right, continue, I continue in his word, then are we his disciples indeed. And we, I and I and I, shall know, not believe, not guesstimate, but we shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free. Now, I went here, right, I went here just to connect that verse right there with the context of it. And, and there's a lot of, as I say, goodies that we found in that. But this is to connect this idea of to be one. Mm -hmm. So the Father and the Son is one, right? Are we clear on that? That the Father had sent the Son, right? And he said that no one, right, and elsewhere, he said that no one testifies or bears witness to him but the Father. Now we live in the manifestation, the sensation, where his imperial majesty has come, fulfilling Revelation, fulfilling those words that Yeshua spoke, right? And who does His Majesty bear witness to? He bears witness to Jesus Christos. He bears witness to Yeshua Ha Moshiach and to that Word, that living Word, all right? That living Word is that Word that has become flesh and dwelt amongst us, all right? Now, and also it still dwells amongst us if we receive that word into our so-called mortal bodies. Right? We have to recognize where we're starting out from. You understand? We're starting out from the point of view of mortality. You understand? And as we grow, you understand, receiving that gift, that, 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 that eternal life, you understand, we go to immortality. So that's another related teaching. We touched on it briefly elsewhere. But Y'all will and we'll get into that also in its own space and time. But now I saw a couple other verses about one. And you know what chapter they were in, brothers and sisters? If you catch another couple of the videos previously, we were in um, chapter 17 of John. And I think I paused it at a certain point. And then when I looked up these other verses about to be one and oneness, I saw that it went to John chapter, John chapter 17. So, with that in mind, we're going to put up right here, right? We're going to put up right here, CF. Now, CF is a, it's a Latin phrase. It's confer. Confer means to, like, compare, right? Compare with John, right? John chapter 17, right? Very important chapter on that oneness. Remember, the antithesis to oneness is division, right? To oneness is division. This is why there is so much diverse doctrine, right? And, and so far among ones who say that they are Rasta and Rasta far right. You know what I'm Because not all are in that oneness, you know what I'm of that testimony and that true and faithful witness of the King of Kings. Even though they say Selassie, they don't recognize that man is a trinity. You know what I'm saying? That man is a trinity. When we speak of our Father, you know what I'm and we speak the name of Hashem, Baruch Hu, blessed be He. We should give Him the fullness of the glory of His name. Because our Maui, Haila Selassie. You know what I'm Haila Selassie first. You know what I'm saying? One say Haila Selassie, I, but I think we need to grow up. 
you know what I'm saying? Well, if you don't want to grow, you can stay where you're at. But I and I, brothers and sisters, we will grow up. You know what I'm saying? We know it's about I and I, but it's really about I and the Most High and Iesus or Iesus Christos. That's the I and the I and the I. All right? Because the three I's need to agree, right, in the word of His Majesty. But let's move forward right here on 2B1. So if you want to see where the Trinity is in man, it's elsewhere in the scriptures. As we pointed out, the, the book by Yoel Natan, known as the Jewish Trinity, which approaches it from a Hebraic, you know, a, a Hebraic perspective. And those Dekamez Amorit who might want to get a copy from I and I, if you understand a study copy used in the Church of His Majesty, then you know you can get in touch with I and I. It's this particular work right here, right? This particular work. We have printed a private a private copy, you understand, right? Using I and I Christ man license, you understand, and also put, you know, a more accurate image, although he had I think in his book he uses this, but if you get that copy, don't judge a book by its cover. If you go to scribe, there's a source book, a resource book. I love what he says right here. When the when the rabbis believe Right, believed in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The 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 Ab wanted Memphis Caduce. You know what I'm saying? When they believed in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? So now we know it's a Hebrew Judaic thing. This is why when he spoke to them, he's like, Well, y'all are you know, master of Israel, you don't know this, you know what I'm saying? But he kept proving it from scripture, from Torah, from from, from the Psalms, the Tehillim. Right from the prophet, the Naveen, or the Naveen, Yovas, and, 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 and so we can also be firmly rooted and grounded in the true faith. So let's continue where we were, verse 7, right? Verse 7. So we, we've been going for a moment. We're going to, you know, um, you know we, we, we're going to eat, Yovas, and let's, let's, let's eat the spiritual word, and after that, we're going to pour it to the cause and, 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 you know, get some food for the third part of our trinity, you know, in our body. But that first part of our trinity must feed. So a lot of us just feed the flesh. We don't feed the spirit and we don't feed the soul. You know what I'm saying? And wonder why we eat the physical food, why we feel so empty. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a space within us, you know what I'm saying? There's a space within us that only Yeshua HaMoshiach, you know what I'm saying? That living word of God can fill and fulfill. All right, so verse 6. Verse 6 of John chapter 17, of John chapter 17, and, and it reads, and he says, I have manifested thy name. I have manifested thy shim, right? Thy sim, right? Thy name to the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, thine they were yours, Father, they were, and thou gavest me than me, and they have kept thy word. They have kept thy word. I want you to focus on the importance of the word, and that the word is not to be confused with words. You know what I'm saying? Words, like regular words, but the word is Yeshua. Yeshua is that word that has become flesh, and if we have faith in his word, well, let us read on, right? Let us read on. Verse 7 it says, Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee, are of the I. So Yeshua is saying that the Father is first. As we say, Kedamawi, Chayla, Shalase, mean the first power of the Trinity. So what is the first power in the Trinity? It's the Av. It's the Av. It's the Father. It's Av. What's the second power? It's the Wel, which is the Son. And the third power is the Memphis Caduce. That is the Trinity above. Now, the Trinity of the family is the father, mother, and child in that particular order. Otherwise, it is out of order. You know what I'm but now, what's the Trinity in man, right? What's, and we're speaking about personal government. You know what I'm Trinity in man is the spirit, the soul, and the body. You know, but unfortunately, and because of disobedience, man fell 
unite man's self from that God consciousness. In other words, man and his trinity fell from Salus Kedus, right? Fell from Salus Kedus. It is Yeshua HaMoshiach, it is our Black Lord and Savior that restored the balance to the fullness, right? And it's in and through him and in and through his living word, you know what I'm saying? And faith in him and his living word that, that is restored, that, 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 that man is reconciled. That's what they mean when they say man is reconciled to God in Christ. So how do we pray? We pray to Abba in the name of Jesus Christus, in the name of Gietai Jesus. That's how we pray. Some say, well, we have to praise Jesus, Jesus, more than his majesty. You know, I don't, I don't, Trinity is not divided. Why are you divided? You understand? We praise the Father in the name, which is the authority of Gietai Yesus, of Adonai Yeshua, HaMoshiach. That's the proper order according to the glory of His Majesty, according to the Bible, according to Tawahedo, according to the Ritua Hymenot. All right? Our Likno. Right? Now, let's go forward. Right? So he says in verse 8, he says, For I have given to them the words, the words which thou gavest me. And they have received them. They have Kabbalah them. They have Makabal them. They have Kabbalah them. Right? And, right, and have known, not believed here. You understand? Because see, the, the, the imnet, the faith, brings you to and bring us to the knowledge, to knowing the truth, right? Those two verses are connected, all right? It says right here that, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed, have my men, have exercised faithful and true witness in spirit and in truth that thou didst sent me, that, 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 that the Father of sent the well sent the Son. Verse 9 says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. So you hear all these carnal Christians running around, are we praying for the world? Christ says, I pray for them. You understand? Christ said, he's praying for the ones whom the Father has given him. Like, I and I pray for those of the eyes that, that the Father has brought to this ministry. I know that it's the Father that has brought you. You understand? So the Father has sent you. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. He says, you have given me them, but really they are yours. You know what I'm They are yours. See, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus, Geta, Jesus, he's showing us perfect sonship. You know what I'm saying? He's showing us how we must be as sons and daughters of his majesty. Right? It says, verse 10, it says, and all mine are thine. All that are mine are thine, and thine are mine. All of what he has is ours, and all that we have is his, and I am glorified. I am what? I am glorified. That same word for glory is honor. I am honored. You understand? I am honored in them. And now I am no more in the world. But these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, Holy Father, Kedus Abbas, right? Kedus Abbas. Let us get the verse right there. Kedus Abbas, verse 11. Verse 11. It says, The Kazihim, 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 the Hala, the Alem, Aidezahum, and the Rasum, the Alem Nacho, in name. Whether unto imetalo, kedus abatoi in the zihin yesetahenyin in the inya and in the honu besemeh el kacho besemeh el kacho. To who? He says, Holy Father, keep through thine own name. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one, 
that they may be one, that they may be one, that they may be one, right? What was that? That they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. While he was with the disciples, the Deccan is Amor, he kept them in Yahweh's name, right? Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. You say, he said, I chose 12 of you, but one of you is the devil. You understand? The one is the devil, right? So that one who the devil is the son of perdition, not the son of barakat, not the son of blessing, not the son of life, but the son of perdition, right? Verse 13, it says, And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have joy fulfilled in themselves. That's a key verse right there, that we might have joy fulfilled where? In somebody else? On the internet? No, that we might have joy fulfilled in ourselves. You understand? Know you know from the Ethiopian eunuch was... um. When he was baptized, uh, Philip was snatched away. Philip was, 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 was I don't call it semi-raptured, but he was snatched away. And the Ethiopian eunuch came out the water, and, and he, he didn't see uh, Philippos. But the Bible says, right, that he went on rejoicing. Yes, and said he went in that joy of the Lord, that joy of John, that joy of Yahweh. Because it says that the joy of the Lord is our what? Our strength. Now, in the fullness of the triune, tripartite being, that means our strength in our spirit. It's our strength in our soul, our our psyche, our psychological state. So we don't have to be all kookaloo and all else and all crazy. The world will think we're crazy, but the joy of the Lord will be fulfilled. You know, we'll have joy. We'll have His joy. He says that they might have what my joy. You understand? Not an almond joy, not some other kind of joy, you understand, or the joy on the view. No, that they may have Yeshua joy, you understand, fulfilled, fulfilled in themselves. Verse 14, I have given them thy word. He has given us Ab's word, the Father's word. Deduce Abba, our Holy Father's word. And and, and and don't get it twisted. Not all these people call themselves Holy Father. You see, that's how the devil tried to trick you. So you can see very clearly there's nothing holy. You know what I'm saying? Not H-O-L-Y. Maybe maybe they have a H-O-L-E or something. Why? I don't know. But it says, I have given them thy word. And the world hath hated them. Oh, man, they're always hating on I and I Rastafari. We should be joying. It's like, yeah. That's exactly what Yeshua said. Uh, ha hallelujah. Ab, may the may Kedus Abatachin be praised. May Abba Kedus be praised, man, in Yeshua's name. That fulfills the word. We know we are nearer and nearer to the victory. You know what I'm saying? Because they are, they are acting in the prophetic or predictable way. You know what I'm saying? Now, it says that the world have hated them as it hates us because... They are not of the world. So why the world hate us? Because we're not of the world. You understand? You say, oh, but this Rasta one, they be hate on I and I have a sense of being, well, because they are of the world. But they rise, they say, you're uh, You know what I'm saying? Hey, don't you get it? But, but, right? But, here's what the word says, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So we are in the world as he is. In the world, we are as he is. That's a powerful thing if you really meditate it. You know, but then when you think about a lot of these little uh, tribulations, you recognize this put thy nine foot to make those turn those stumbling stones into in, into stumbling blocks into stepping stones, right? It says, I pray not, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. So he has prayed for us protection that is still, you understand, that is still evident and real from that today to today and every day. All right? 
they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So he repeats that there. He emphasizes that. Verse 17. It says, sanctify, which means to make them kiddus. Make them kiddus. He says, be ye kiddus. Be ye set apart from the seclora, even as I am kiddus. Right? He says, sanctify them through thy truth. So we are made holy by what? By his truth. By the truth of his majesty in Christ, we are made kiddus, kiddus, kiddus. Thy word, right? Thy word is truth. Word up. Thy word, the King of Kings' word, is truth, is illnet, right? Is illnet. Verse 18, it says, As thou hast sent me into the world, as you have sent me into Seclora, Yeshua said, even so have I also sent them into the world. So we are to be in the world, but not of the world. Verse 19, and for their sakes, I sanctify myself. He's saying, for our sake, for the disciples' sake of that first century, and for us too in faith that he has sanctified, he has made himself produced, he has made himself set apart. Yo, Zassi was in that the very same reason that Kelamawi, Haile Selassie also has made himself, sanctified himself for our sake, for our sake, that they also might be sanctified through the truth, through the ill net, right? Verse 20 says, neither pray I for these alone. So this prayer, this intercessory prayer that our great high priest, our great Lika Kahinat is praying, our great Kahin Hagadol is praying, he's not praying just for them uh, 2,000 years ago. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's not praying for them. Listen, John chapter 17, verse, verse, um, verse uh, 19, it says, For their sakes I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified, made holy, set apart through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, verse 20, but for them, but for them also which shall believe my men, except as faithful and true, on me. On who? On Jesus, on Geta Jesus, on Adonai Yeshua, Adonai Yeshua HaMoshiach, that those who be a faithful true and faithful witness, amen, 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 on Yeshua through their word. So those who bear witness through their word, and therefore through I and I word. You understand? That's why it says in, 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 the, in the creed, right, that there is no end to the kingdom. There's no end to thy kingdom. It's from generation to generation as we, as we uh, work you understand? The true spiritual work out our salvation to regeneration, right? 21, it says, that they all may be one. Wow. And say that they all may be united. No, that they all may be one. That they all might be one. That they all might be one. But are there a lot of them? If there's 500 of them, there's 500. How are they one? That they all might be one. You understand? As thou... Father, Abba, art in me, and I in thee, in the I, that they also may be one in us, that they also might be one in I and I. So, oh, here this in, in Rastafari speak, that them all may be one, right? As the I, Abba, art in I, and I in the I, that them, that them also may be one in I and I. That the world may believe, the world might accept this as faithful and true, that thou hast sent I. So, it said that the Father, the love of humanity, even, even with the enemies, he, he's not desirous that any should perish. You know what I'm saying? So it's about saving souls in him and through him and through that word and through the truth is if they choose to receive. You understand? If they choose to receive. If they choose or if they, they refuse and they lose. You understand? But let that be their choice. Don't you be a stumbling block or a blockhead. Verse 2, 22. And the glory, the cover, right, which thou gavest me, I have given them. So the glory he had, 
he has given unto I and I, that they may be one. Once again, this, 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 he's on a oneness. You talk about oneness. This is the oneness prayer. Even as we, as I and I, are one. Verse 23, I in them, and the I in I, that they may be made perfect, oh my, in one. You know, we can't be made perfect, you understand, outside of that one. We have to be made perfect in one, and that the world may know. We don't know, but, but, but it's for the, it may be that they might know. And they won't continue on the path of ignorance and end up in death and hell and destruction and a lake of fire. The Gehanamet Issat, that thou hast sent me, that they might really receive, you understand, know this good news. You understand, know this good news of the King of Kings and his Christ. And hast loved them as thou hast loved me, as thou hast loved I. Father, Ah, but I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold, they may in that all behold my glory, which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me, thou lovest I, before the foundation, before the foundation of the world. And in Yeshua, our beloved I and I, even before the time, he foreknew I and I. O righteous Abba, O righteous Father, O righteous Father. Let's see where he is. Tzadik, 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 Tzadik Sono, Tzadik, Tzadik Abba Toy. Alem, Allah work to him. Allah work, Allah work, Allah work to him. Right? The world don't know. And again, I went to who? In the Zihim, Anze, in the Lak, Ahim, I went to. In the Nim, Yehwad, Tibat, Fikr, Benarsu, and the Tawan, in the name, Benarsu, Simehim, Asa Tawa Kwacho, Asa Tawa Kacho Malo. The last two verses right here, these last two verses, verse 25 and 26, he says, Sadik, Sadik, Abba Toy, righteous, O oh righteous Father, O oh righteous Father, you know, and righteousness, the true righteousness is Yeshua. The Jesus Christos is our righteousness. You understand? Not because of what we've done or the ignorance that we was in or walked in darkness, but before the Father. The Father don't see all that, all that, all that mess, all that sin, all that error. If we have been born again in Him, this is something I must teach on as well. And it's, it's, it's the grace. You understand? The grace, which which also is of that five, like the hand of God, is that grace. It says, O oh, righteous Father, Sadik Abatoi. The world has not known the eye. You understand? It's like the world still do not know Kedamawi, Haila, Selassie. Or at least they're playing ignorant, but either way, we are to be in Him, and He is to be in we. O righteous Father, the world has not known the eye, but I have known the eye, and these have known that Thou hast sent me. And I have declared to them thy name. He's declared to them the Father's name as I declared to the I, Kedamawi Haile Selassie's name. And will declare it. So he says he declared the name then, and he also will declare it. That the love wherewith thou hast loved me, the love, he says it's about love. It is about this love. This is the oneness love. This is the Tawahido love. Tawahido Fikr, right? The Tawahido love, right? And I have declared to them thy name and will declare that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Amen and amen. Give thanks, Abba. 
the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the reading and the study of this word. And, and, I, and I pray that I and I, brothers and sisters, will be able to receive it, will be able to, to grow up to you in all things. And I and I have overcome, and I and I give thanks for that overcoming. Amen and amen. My brothers and sisters, there's some spiritual, you know, some spiritual food for I and I at this very time. You know what I'm saying? In, in days like these, where there's so much famine and starvation, you know what I'm saying? You are starving to hear the word and the testimony. Please, in, in, for, for the love of His majesty in Christ, receive this word. You know, and be about sharing it with others. Don't force it on folks. You know, say, no, 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 don't do that. But, 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 but let it grow up into you. In other words, there's more on this trinity in man before we can speak about well, how we need to um, buddy up the Havruta. We have to speak about how we first have to um, become one with the Father. You know, saying, in, in the first uh, Havruta, you know, saying, is I and I in Yeshua. You said each of I and I, you said each of I and I, each of us, the next I besides I must be I Jesus Christos to the glory of the Father. You know said before we can go to to to, to three, you know then we have to first deal with one and then we have to deal with two. You know what I'm saying? And then truly we can deal with three or Salase, the Trinity in man. So my brothers and sisters, I love the I because I don't love to study this word, this love letter of Abba Kedus, of Kedus Abba Tachin. And, 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 and I pray that you continue to grow in this word and that you be blessed, Baruch, 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 in the name of the King of Kings and His Christ, Ketachina, Mid Hanatachin, Jesus Christos. Stay tuned and stay in tune with the Father in and through the living word of Jesus Christos, our black Lord and Savior. Shalom, Ras, Tefari. Amen.